Hello, so I had a question recently at the Atlanta Maximal User Group around scheduling reports. So I figured I'd just take a few minutes and cover that since I didn't have enough time. So first thing, recipient does not need to be a Maximal User. The default for a report is going to be PDF anyway. Usually everybody has that or they can just download it. Um, Report should be able to stand on its own. So it's got to have a query built in. That'll be dynamic so each time it runs, it'll pick up new data if there is new data to be picked up. There are a ton of scheduling options, and we'll go through this in a minute, and you can see it. And then just remember to hit preview so that you can actually see what that schedule is going to look like. Uh, next, we want to take a look at distribution. Um, Maximal person records have email addresses or have the ability to have email addresses. So when you click the select value icon, you will be able to see those emails and you can query, of course, in that list since it's just a maximal uh, list to be able to search from. It does not, however, pull the company contact emails. So that's just something to, to keep in mind uh, when you're ready to submit. Once the request page is filled in, you know, it's going to basically put that on the schedule so you'll be able to see it. And then you can actually, particularly in 7.6.1.1, which is what I'm using now for the demonstration, you can modify that list. You no longer have to, you haven't actually had to do this in a while, but when this was first out, you'd schedule a report and you get a modification of distribution, you go back and de delete the report and come back, and it's just it's just painful. So now you don't have to do that. And again, your default is PDF, but you can choose some other format if you prefer. Um, when you go to then look at the actual scheduled report, when you go to the Run Reports dialog, they hit the Schedules tab. If you haven't noticed that before, it's it's right there. And then you can actually look at a report that is scheduled, see what that schedule is. And there's some things that you can actually modify on it um, rather than having to create a new report. So let's go ahead and take a look at, come on, go away. There we go, Maximo. So I'm using the actual uh, preview site. Um, I'm not sure any of this will be here when I'm all done, but at any rate, Let's say I want to get uh, a regular report on unscheduled boiler work. So I create a query for boiler unscheduled, but uh, which gives me a list. Nice part about this is that it'll run every time and pick up whatever matches the criteria. So uh, the location or asset rolls up to the boiler and the scheduled field, schedule start, in here somewhere um, is empty so schedule start is null and the other stuff is just dealing with the hierarchy it's it's a messy query um, at any rate I have a query now I embed this query into a report and I can schedule it so let's go ahead and do that so we've got our list of 27 we're going to now let's go ahead and create a new report so we will because we want to get a few other fields here. Um, we want to save the application query in the report. It'll be embedded. And it'll be un unscheduled, but approved boiler work. Uh, let's see, content. And we just need to get a few fields. Let's see. Let's go estimate. Oops. And let's go ahead and get some labor hours. Material cost. There's labor cost back there. And labor cost. So we'll add those guys. And let's go ahead and work type. Yeah, work type, we'll add that on. And let's see, we can probably remove site because it's all for one. If you, if, if on the other hand, you are multi-site, then you may want to keep that in. 
Um, I'm not concerned about dynamic job plans, though. I'm not concerned about sites. I don't really need any of that information. Anything else I don't need? No, I'll keep those. So I'll hit remove selected. And my 13 goes down to 11. And if you want to get more involved in it, do calculations and summarization and so on. I can preview. Make sure it works to do what I want it to do. Of course, I haven't been here before, so I need a lot of pop-ups. There we go. Now it goes. So off goes the report. It's running, and it's giving me what I want. So, and there's there's numbers over there. Not many, but at any rate, it gives me something. So I can go ahead and dispose of this. Run and save. So now I'll be creating and saving this the report into the report list of reports that are available. And if you want to make it, if you want to share it, then it'll be available to a lot of people. Um, in this particular case, probably not, unless it's something that you want other people to, to work on or schedule. Uh, but now it is unscheduled, but approved boiler work is here. So it's now just a report on a list. I can then go ahead and choose a recurring, let's say I want the last Monday of every month. So we'll go with every month on the last Monday. And we'll do it, I don't know, 6 a.m. Hit preview. We'll see what it looks like. So 6 a.m. on those days. That looks good. Hit OK. I can pick people I'm going to send it to. Uh, not a lot of people here in the demo. Send to both of them. Uh, what the heck? Add somebody else. Oops. I know that address won't work, although I'm pretty sure I can't send from the demo anyway. But at any rate, uh, oops. All right, so it's there. It's going to go into PDF format. When I hit submit, report does not actually run. It just gets onto the schedule. And there it is. So when I'm all done and I walk away from it, I can come back to it. Whoops. And work order tracking. I go to run reports. And I look at the scheduled tab, schedules tab, and there it is. I can go ahead and say, oh, that address was wrong. First off, we're not sending to that person. And this address, I had a typo because I typed it in wrong. Fix it. Say OK. Schedule's updated. Right? The, re the report is still there. And come back to schedule, and there it is. And on November 25th at 6 a.m., it'll run and it will send. Of course, this is the demo. I don't believe it's set up for outbound email, but at any rate, you get the idea. Hopefully, that helps. Thanks very much.